Anyway, anyway. Oh, look at this. Ah, nice. <laughs> Hello. Daniel, what's up? Hi. One sec. Let me figure this out. Uh, uh, hi. Hello. Hey, hey look hey, at what's that. Going on? How you doing? I technology. I figured it out. Let me, how do I do this? Okay. Do this. Okay. Cool. I think I'm good. You guys, guys can see you sound, you sound fucking good. Well, look oh, at I got a gigantic f- microphone. Look, look at this at fucking shit. Yeah, look at this fucking mic. Duh. Is- like, if, it's, if it sounded like shit, I'd be pissed, man. <laughs> He's we like, I got hair and shit. You know? We need some of those, uh, man. But he sounds good with hair like this. <laughs> how's, how's everyone doing today? What are you guys up to? What's going on? Well, we were just having a debate about which uh, song we were going to play yours because I wasn't specific when I told him to use a different one. So we're okay. not. So we're going to screw that up for you. Don't worry about it. You can do whatever you want. Uh, let me. I'm. Uh, I'm live at uh, chat. Chat. You can hear. Yeah, you hear them. Yeah. So I'm. I'm live on Twitch right now. Just. Just letting you know. Um. Ev- everyone in the world can hear you. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look. Woo! I even have you guys up on screen now. It looks great. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, you guys can see this now. I'm just gonna trim it, and make it look all sexy, and I can do this yeah look at this are you kidding me i want this guy to run our shit fucking right? professional <laughs> fucking professional streamers over here yeah look normally, at this. normally i'd make a smart ass comment and be like ashton you're fired but i'm just kidding we still need you yeah no shit <laughs> <laughs> all right we did it look at that hey, that's pretty that's cool that's, incredible that, 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 that is pretty cool that is okay. pretty cool so to everybody out there, this is Daniel Decay of the band Exciter. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we talked to Priya Panda. If those of you that were watching, he used to be in a band with her called Diamonds. And my one of my first questions that I wanted to ask you about, like when you guys, when that all split and you guys went your separate ways, was was like the band Exciter like just the best move for you because it was so heavy. Uh, it was the best move for me because it was like kind of like the the dream the dream always uh, always come true. Also, yeah, this is terrible. We need I need to introduce uh, you introduced me to them. I need to introduce you guys to them. I'm sorry, everyone in the chat, like, dude, you're a dick. Like, who they I didn't I didn't even tell them anything. Uh, so yeah, like in, uh, introduce yourselves and the show. I feel awful. There's people watching on both sides. I'm a terrible host. That absolutely. Uh, I'm John. Uh, I'm in Topeka, Kansas. And I am Randy. I'm in Oklahoma City. Randy in OKC. You know, John, John and I met uh, a long time ago. A long time ago. It uh, was. This is a first meeting for Randy and I, though. Yes. Great to meet <laughs> um, you. Great to, great to meet you, too. Uh, for those of you that are watching out there uh, on the Twitch side, through Daniel, uh, this is Bleach Bangs. We do a weekly show every Wednesday at uh, 7 o'clock. PM Central Standard Time, which Daniel <laughs> Central Time to uh, yeah. Eastern Time, we have to add hours, yeah. not take away hours. Yes, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Hey, but in my defense, you didn't fucking correct me when I said like, hey, so, so I'll see you at six thirty my time. You're like, yeah, sounds good, dude. I'm like six. <laughs> I was I was a hundred percent not even thinking clearly when I responded, and I was like. Yeah, it's an hour difference. That makes sense. Yeah, me too. That's I. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So that that was rad. Um, John and Randy, thanks for hanging. Uh, yes, Exciter was the fucking move because it was like a dream come true. I'm from the same hometown. They're hometown heroes. Um, I really needed a fucking band, and uh, the, it was just like, it was like it in less than a year to like diamonds came home from Europe. We kind of knew that uh, you know that things were falling apart pretty badly and uh, the, the, the beast must be kind of laid down at least temporarily. And I kind of had that reality in my mind and it was really weighing on me a lot. I like sat in the international terminal of Pearson airport coming back from the diamond zero tour and basically like looked at the walls and was like, I can't afford a vacation and I'm about to be out of a band. So I guess I'll never see this international terminal ever again. So I, I was not hopeful. I was pretty in the dumps about everything. And, uh, 
Yeah, I came home and uh, that all fell apart. And we did one more show basically with the lineup as you as you knew it with myself, Pri, and Cece. And then, you know, we've done a couple shows since without him, but, you know, that was kind of the end of it for real then. And uh, it, like less than 12 months later, I saw like a Facebook post that Exciter needed a guitar player. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? That's crazy. Like, I, I should do this. And I never thought that they would pick me ever. And they never thought that I wanted to join their band. It was hilarious. They thought I was trolling and I thought they were trolling. And like the truth, <laughs> like it, it was just really, it's, it's a, it was really organic how it all happened. It was crazy. <laughs> That's too cool. Yeah. It just kind of, it just kind of ha happened. And so I just have to, I would throw out this message because I just got a message from uh, someone that apparently told you to introduce us. Uh, Cat Crash is watching through your Twitch. Yeah, Cat Crash is watching on Twitch. Yeah, are you guys live on Facebook as well right now? We are live on Facebook through live our on Facebook thing. live on. Dude, we're international. This is where we're all uh, worldwide, baby. We are. We're going everywhere. This is awesome. Uh, I met. I met. Uh, I met her at Rock and Skull in Illinois years and years ago, and it was just hilarious because. I was like, I, some of my mutual friends introduced me and I was like, ah, you know, what's your name? She's like, Catherine. She's like, just Catherine. I was like, so I've always called her just Catherine. Like, <laughs> hey, if I've ever messaged her, I'm like, hey, just Catherine. And she just responds, she's messaged me. She's like, hey, is this just John I'm seeing on yeah. Twitch? <laughs> she's writing on, she's right. Yeah, she's writing in the chat. I love just John. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Just John. It's just That's John. awesome. We're making, yeah, we're making more worldwide connections. The six degrees of heavy metal separation. It, it is really cool. is sometimes. Uh, now, you said that international airport that you never thought you'd see again. You just came back from another European tour. Yeah. So fucking somehow uh, stars lined up correctly. I got to see the inside of that airport again and have $9 bottles of water and $14 pints. But anyways, uh, <laughs> You know, it was, uh, we were uh, excited. It was just in Europe for uh, three weeks of awesome shows, a bunch of really cool headline club shows, as well as some massive festivals. Uh, straight up, the biggest shows I've ever played in my life, easily. Um, the biggest shows I've ever played in my life. Um, Rock the Castle in Italy with Judas Priest. And oh, fucking, hell yeah. And yeah, man, like fucking Hellfest with like a gajillion cool bands, uh, like literally 160 bands a day or something, like just insanity. Um, so really just uh, a really awesome, uh, tour overall. And we got to play with a bunch of bands. I really like, uh, butcher and vulture being two of them. And I don't know, there's really cool, uh, like, uh, death hammer played one night and destroyer six, six, six played one night, like just like shit that you don't see at home at all. And you get to see that shit in Europe and it's pretty cool. So I'm really thankful that I get to go back and play so many shows and back there again in August, which is cool as well. Wow. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm uh, making up for lost time, man. Two years of no shows were just, a lot of these shows have been booked for three years. It's like not even new shit. It's like shit I've, I've been anticipating for three years and it's finally just happening. It's crazy. That is absolutely incredible. You're doing, uh, you're doing some Canadian shows here in the next month or so as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just like all kind of their weekenders. The beauty of living in Canada is that a lot of things are like within the six to eight hour drive cities we could play on the weekend. So it's just been like Friday and Saturday, Friday and Saturday. So last mm -hmm. weekend we did Toronto and Ottawa the weekend before we did Montreal and Quebec city this weekend. We're in St. John's, Newfoundland, it's a ridiculous place. I've never been there in my life. It's actually on its own half hour time zone. So it'd be like, <laughs> it wouldn't be eight 30. Like it is here, it'd be like nine, I guess, or something. It's like thirty minutes. It's just wild. It's on its own. Wow. It's on its own, it's on its own totally time zone, bro. Screwed us up so bad. No, like, we could not do we that. We never would have got the right time. Nope. Dude, oh yeah, it'd be a nightmare. Yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck my Eastern time. Imagine that. That time zone. Four nine, that would have been insane. You're gonna love Newfoundland, says Wired OG. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. I, it's my first time there. I'm really excited. So one other thing I want to make mention of is your amazing shirt you're wearing. And is that something that you have out there for the world to get? Uh, I don't, this was made for me by an awesome uh, member of the community who does these uh, music jerseys, uh, merseys, uh, as, as it were. And uh, he sent me, dude, like fucking a bunch of different 
number like 420 and 666 and like, <laughs> you know like all this cool shit and uh baseball version and uh you know basketball version hockey jersey it's like pretty fucking cool all different colors and the patches um so uh yeah you can you can make them the same way you could make like a kobe jersey if you wanted you could make a dk army jersey you just kind of tell them what you want on it and i and i i can sell you the the crests so you get the official crests from my, my merch store and then you can sew it onto your jersey very cool uh, yeah, yeah. Your, merch, your merch store for anybody out there watching what would that how would people find that daniel oh, it's so easy danieldk.com for all the links all the stuff danieldk.com i'm gonna go out and throw that in our comment section as well yeah maybe i'll throw that in my you know it's already in my comment section because people are <laughs> writing because they're such fucking legends yeah, yeah yeah put it throw it in there yeah, I do it all myself. It's actually CC hand, hand screens the shirts in Toronto at his company, Paranoid Print Co. So they're not done. They're not like digital prints. They're not done in a factory and then shipped to you by agent number eight. Um, they're literally CC fucking designs the shirts, screens them, burns them, drives them to my house. We drink a beer and then I read your orders and stuff them in envelopes. If there's cat hair on the shirts, I apologize. It's just my beautiful cat kitten being a fucking pain in the ass and standing on the table while I'm trying to pack. That's what, that's what your pets are supposed to do, man. Yeah, make your life full of joy and nothing but happiness and make everything so much easier for you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, while we uh, have a quick pause, uh, Randy, I don't want to spring this on you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Can I do it? You got a song ready? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. It'll just be a short clip. So <laughs> Let's see. See what we can do. Oh shit, that's fancy. How'd you do that? I want to show them that. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at the, the 80 pictures and all. Oh, I got a. How do I show this? Oh man, I fuck. Photo. I love that picture. I think I showed that. Oh, there it is. Check it out. 80s Alan Johnson, Dan Beeler, and John Ricci. Well, we don't we don't want to do too much there because Facebook tends to slap us with copyright strikes <laughs> so, uh Asshole. i'd love to play the whole song they freaking dicks man yeah it, dicks. they'll totally and, just pull down our whole podcast so yeah they will <laughs> <laughs> or mute all of it so all you see is our faces they're, they're just jackasses <laughs> i mean your Even faces with, look pretty good though oh thank you you're, you're too kind <laughs> <laughs> just john i mean the funny thing is is, is usually the artist is actually there with us and they'll still yank it. It, it, it makes absolutely no sense. Right? Crazy. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that was a reign of terror. Exciter. Yeah, pe people want us to play that song live. I think we should. I think I we think should play that too. song live. That's a fucking yes. good song. I absolutely, that's, that's why I sent that to him first because I was like, oh my God, I love this song. Like, we got to play a clip of it. And then you sent me that other video and you're like, hey, use some of this. And He's like, oh, that's not what I didn't understand what you said. So bad. Like, how many videos did he want me to play? <laughs> I was like, don't play the whole 47 minutes. <laughs> 47 minutes, 53 seconds. Do it. Yeah, you see, there you go. <laughs> they would never yank that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's on the what's next on the horizon for you guys uh, as a band then overall? Other than I know you're going back to Germany to play some festivals. Yeah, shows. So shows, uh, shows will wrap up at uh, end of uh, end of you know actually like end of October, start of November. Shows should be done for the year. Literally, unless a fucking reunited Led Zeppelin with a reincarnated John Bonham calls and fucking <laughs> um, like a CC Deville fronted Poison is opening. Uh, like unless all that happens, um, and Michael and Michael Monroe's just there, like just introing us 
Uh, I don't think we're going to say yes to any more shows for the rest of the year. We'll play all these shows. A lot of them have been booked, as I said, for three years. And then, uh, and then I, I got to go to, like, full album mode. I need to, like, focus and uh, lay down some fucking guitar tracks and finish off a couple songs and get a record out because we have a really busy tour year again next year, and I can't let uh, I can't let album fall to the wayside because it was like, just it's always, but just one more festival, but just one more show, and then that turns into another one and another one and another one, and then next thing you know, it's fucking November, and the whole year is burnt playing shows. So mm-hmm. got to focus. Got to got to take the the proper the proper um, six months to to finish the album and get it out because it's time. But then next year's 40, 40 years of Heavy Metal Maniacs, so it's going to be new album and 40-year anniversary tour. So it's going to be a big deal. It's going to be a big year. So we've got to finish the fucking record. That's yeah, priority. Absolutely. Totally. Um, also, with uh, we, we put your info out there. For people looking for any Exciter stuff, is there, is there a website that for everything Exciter? Yeah, like pretty much. Uh, I mean, there's a website on the internet that has nothing to do with us. And a lot of people are like, man, your website sucks. I'm like, yo, it's literally not ours. <laughs> like a fan made it. It's like made on like Angel Fire, Media Fire, <laughs> like from fucking like GeoCities website or something. Like, I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. It's like not us at all. But uh, the band is for the most part uh, everywhere on social media. The tag is Exciter Band. And on Facebook, it's Exciter Canada. Uh, so like facebook.com slash Exciter Canada and everywhere else. Instagram, Twitter, whatever it's, it's, it's Exciter band. Um, yeah, I think that, yeah, that's, that's where all the stuff is that, and there's some website. Don't go to that website. It's not me. <laughs> it's not us. It's a fan. That's an unofficial fan website. <laughs> there we go, everybody. I hope you've you got all that. Um, do not go to the website that's out on the, on the interwebs. Use their social medias and find them that way. Hell yeah. Okay, so I, I have a question for you now, though. Okay. For uh, me or for Randy or for both of us? For, for, for just John. Uh-oh. <laughs> just John. <laughs> no, that's his name, remember? <laughs> just John. Right, um, right. Yeah, Randy. Yeah, yeah, yours is coming up. Don't worry. Oh, shit. Um, um, I, for the sake of everyone watching who, like, might just think that this is just, like, another person that you call, you're like, hi, do you want to do my podcast? I want you to tell our villain origin story. Where's the first place we met and what year was it and what were we doing? First place that we met. Yeah, well, where was it? Uh, I would say it was at Rocklahoma. Yep. Um, I'm going to wager a guess it was like 2010. 10 plus one. It would have been 11. Uh, I think. 2011. Okay, yeah. sorry. And what were we doing? I 100% know that right as you guys pulled in, I went to my car and got my bodily Jaeger out. I, yeah. I could have answered that one. Yeah. <laughs> that was, those, those were the days we drank a lot of Jaeger, a lot of Jaeger. You still drink? You still drinking Jaeger? I, I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm graduated more onto the whiskey, but when I'm at the bar, it's like usually a Jaeger shot. It is. Um, other funny, yeah, so we partied hard then. We, we hung out a bunch, though, uh, and there's actually – a uh, funny story that diamonds will forever make fun of me in a story that you're involved in. Um, you had this guitar that you wanted uh, us all to sign. I do believe it's a BC rich warlock is a warlock. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah it's a warlock and it is for your, your home bar and you had all this cool memorabilia and all this cool shit and like guitar shaped bars and all this like crazy wild stuff. And uh, you brought us this sick ass guitar to a mm-hmm. show in Kansas city. It was. It was in Kansas City. You brought us a guitar to a show in Kansas City. Do you remember the venue? Uh, Jerry's Bait Shop. Yes, it was. A party at Jerry's Bait Shop. Whoa. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, you brought us this guitar to sign, and we're all taking our turns signing it and drinking with you. And it was just like kind of out all night, and everyone took their turn signing it, whatever. It was a, a party night. So you're already our buddy at this point. And uh, – I don't know, like, if I sign the guitar first or if I just don't look at the way that other people sign the guitar, but I sign, like, fully upside down compared to everybody else. So, like, like completely <laughs> upside down compared to everyone else's autograph. Like, my name is fully, like, completely s- flipped. And I can't tell you why I did that, but forever, whenever we, like, go to sign something important, if it was, like, 
visiting a record label or signing a big a poster for a giveaway or something like CC and Priya would always rag on me. Uh, don't sign it upside down. Like it was like a thing forever. So thanks for, uh, you know, doing that. Yeah. To me, I don't know how it happened, man. I apologize. <laughs> it actually, it's hilarious because then I got your guys's record, I think at, uh, the riot room possibly in Kansas city and had you guys sign it. And I was like, no, no, you have to sign it upside down. So the mm-hmm. album that I got from him also, he signed it upside down for me. The upside because, down saga lives on. Because it had to be that way at that point. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's rad. Uh, so yeah, I got that one right. Uh, did you have a stumper for Randy as well? Uh, well, I just don't, I just don't know. I just don't know, Randy. I see a lot of CDs on the wall, though. I'm wondering, uh, <laughs> like, uh, you do CD display display boxes? Are these some of your favorite records? What do we got going on? The, these are all the bands that we've interviewed. Most of them were at Rocklahoma. Um, all of them are uh, signed, and Ooh. some of them have uh, other things with them. I think Ragdoll has condoms that are with them, drumsticks. <laughs> Like a ragdoll branded condom, I mean, or just it, oh it, shit! Look at all those. Yeah, it, it it goes around and it's yeah, oh shit! It, it goes around the whole the whole room. My wife's done a really good job with getting that all set up. So yeah, it's it's a uh, it's really cool. That's one of our things is uh, we'll buy one CD to listen to and one that we just want the band to sign and we and and uh, we'll just frame it up, put Dude, it in the rock rad. room. If you if you uh, hit me up, get my email from John. I'll send you a signed CD so you can have uh, a An sign. Upside, upside down. Yeah, yes. from, from 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 Danny upside down. Yeah, someone <laughs> in the chat. I guess Cat wrote in the chat. Just John and upside down DK. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely but awesome. I, for the life of me, cannot figure out where in the fuck I was, 2011. And because like I had to be somewhere, there, I had to, I had to be somewhere right next to him somehow, somewhere. Dude, but like we went, we hung out, we we hung out with like John for like the next like fucking seven <laughs> years. We'd see him like once or twice a year. Like where were you? You could have been ingrained in in the Die Hard history as well. You could have been there at the Upside Down party where everyone wore shoes on their hands. <laughs> I had to be somewhere close. I don't. I, I now that's really bothering me. And what? Where in the fuck would I have been, John? Bro, I, I really don't know. Then, right? Drinking the Jagger, drinking the Jagger with me. Probably we probably hung out all night, drank so much fucking Jagger, and neither of us can remember. <laughs> Passed out in the campground with Jello shots all over our faces, and like that was it. That was it. It was like that sometimes too. Absolutely. I don't, um, and- I don't remember. There's like retrospect. There's yeah, <laughs> retrospect. Say just days of my life that I don't remember, like from that <laughs> festival. Remember the the fill your own beer mugs? Are you fucking kidding me? Like that is disaster <laughs> written all over it. And like you couldn't even get food. Some days it's like there's like no fucking food. Everything's so lined up. It's like here's a free Monster Energy drink. Here's a free Monster Energy drink and beer, beer, beer. It's like just in the baking sun. Like, dude, I'm surprised that I didn't die at one of those festivals. Like I was just <laughs> hopped up on Monster, no food, all the beer, and baking in the sun, hundred fucking degrees. Yeah, I, I have a question for you though, Daniel, as well. I got an answer. We looked at Randy's background behind him, and you have the most glorious looking album collection behind you. Oh, yeah, it's, you uh, it's there. Wow. It's, it's there. It's absolutely gorgeous. Do you want an unboxing right now? There's an album here that I don't know what it is. Someone sent. Oh, let's do an hey, unboxing. Too cool. I love this. this is new for us. We're doing an unboxing. <laughs> We're doing hype. Uh, hashtag hype word unboxing. Yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's uh, pop it open. How do we uh, let's pop this shit open? See, I'm not really an unboxer either. I just it just happens that something came, and it says it's from Italy. So we got uh, something from Italy. All right, what do we got? Oh wow! I think I ordered this record like um, maybe over a year ago. This is from uh, at first I didn't know this band's from Italy. That's crazy. Uh, Black wow. Spell. It's like some psych rock shit, like heavy psych rock though. Like we got that, you know, shit, right? right what label is right. it on? 
Forbidden Place Records, and it's got to be on a fancy color. Oh, yeah, that's pretty sexy. That is. Yeah. yeah, this I'm telling you, I must have ordered this over a year ago. That's why I said I had no idea what it was. I wasn't expecting anything. There you go. Black Spell. Black Spell, self-titled? Self-titled Black Spell? Black Spell, self-titled. There you go. Unboxing. First, it looks like it's signed by the band as well. It is oh, signed by the band. Uh, oh, it, it doesn't it look sure like you're in the band. Look at that. We could hang it up, up on your wall. Randy, I, hang it up exactly. on your wall. Huh? I'll give you my address. I'll there take you it. Go. <laughs> All those names are right side up. That's weird. Yeah. I mean, it looks better upside down. We've established that. <laughs> so, do you guys do this every week? We, yes. we do this every Wednesday. Uh, almost every Wednesday, unless some weird things come up, because uh, normally there's three of us. Charlie is in New Mexico, uh, and he's doing some overtime this week. Mm. And and we always try to at least, uh, at least one band. We always try for two. We run for approximately an hour every wednesday night that's awesome there's yeah there was a guest on before me right well there was supposed mm -hmm. to be <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we had a a um a time issue a time zone well. issue a time I zone issue there, yeah i think there was a time zone issue <laughs> it must have been a time zone issue uh just john and randy what are the what's the link to the podcast that i can uh put in the put in the chat it, it is on bleachbangs.com uh, no, the Facebook page. What is that? Just is it just bleach bangs there? Yeah, just the bleach bangs. Just bleach bangs for Catherine. Yeah, just bleach bangs. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you go in and search bleach bangs, it should pop up for you, and I can try to send you the link to it. Oh, I got it. It's already in the chat. It's done. Right on. Right on. Your beast. You can. Uh, it, I usually have them on Spotify as well. Uh, Spotify has started to play video, so you can actually go on Spotify listen to the podcast and see the video as well and it's going to be on youtube and it's going to be uh bleach banks on youtube fuck yeah that's awesome and i just put the facebook link in the chat so if anyone wants streamception of what it looked like to be here and there at the same time <laughs> like a mirrored window for eternity that's that's how you get that um and also it i believe randy has loaded a lot of our old shows like from like 10 years ago that we, when we were doing this before, mm -hmm. wow. like I don't know. I don't remember if you were on when we did that, but I know we talked to you guys one time on it, the, on the old show and it wasn't with video. I remember you recorded an interview with us before, like, like, you know, back when we used to drink a ball of Jagger and eat a pizza at Jerry's bait shop. I'm talking that era. I, I recall a long time ago. Mm -hmm. We did one many, many years ago. And, uh, and uh, he has a lot of the old episodes out there, uh, which is, absolutely amazing that we didn't lose all that stuff because it was through a different uh site that we did that years ago um but please feel free to go out and peruse through the titles of the old ones if you see somebody you want to hear mm -hmm. we have them out there they exist that's fucking cool the archive exists you guys heard it here we'll check check out bleach bangs and everybody wa uh, watching on facebook i this is my twitch channel that i do here with this exact camera angle and i play guitar uh like four times a week when i'm not on tour so um literally for like five hours at a time D diamond songs fucking slayer songs and everything in between we just do it i'm gonna have to figure out this twitch thing so i can go watch decay play right 100 percent, 100 percent. you come down i'll play you motley i'll play you poison i'll play you rat whatever you want i got you that's awesome that's absolutely hell yeah awesome. hell yeah fucking a there's your stadium tour yeah we were, we were doing a lot of chat about that before because we uh didn't have our first guest today so we we rambled a lot so it was just me and randy just talking about concerts and things that are going on in the world for you if you were to go to the stadium tour or if you did like Who's the biggest draw to you? At this point, uh, I mean, like Motley is always going to be Motley. Like I can talk shit on it all day. At the end of the day, I'll be excited <laughs> to hear like the fucking greatest hits of one of my favorite bands live. Like, sure, it's cool. Uh, but uh, I feel like at this point, like Def Leppard is a pretty strong draw for me. Uh, Joan Jett's cool. You know, I've only seen her. I've seen her the least times out of everyone on that bill. So that one's cool. Get to see, uh, you know, some Joan Jett shit. But... Like Def Leppard's probably my, my biggest draw. But you know what? Their set list doesn't really reflect the era of Lep that I'm like obsessed with. Like I'm a mm -hmm. first two albums guy with Def Leppard hard. And I mean, like, I don't think you get many of those at all. Like I, I think you maybe get like a couple high and dry tunes. I don't think you get any on through the night. Maybe rock. Right. Brigade, but like, you know, like it's not really 
it's not really what they're playing. They're playing a lot of hysteria. You know, they're playing a lot of pyro. Um, but uh, yeah, and who did I miss? Poison. I only mm-hmm. want to go if Poison's playing. I hate every bone in your body, but mine. Other than that, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I I kind of feel like I've seen them perform that like every time I go. Yeah, like, I feel no, like they I'll- always do that. <laughs> yeah, no auto tune vocals though. It's like that that weird auto tune in the chorus is unreal. Yeah, CC Deville, mm-hmm. let's fucking go. Does CC Deville still sing it? He has every time I've seen it happen. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's great. That's it has awesome. been quite a few years since I've seen Poison at this point though. So, I mean, uh, you can see right behind me. We can remain hopeful. We can remain hopeful. Yeah, I see that up there. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't think I have uh, anything else other than to say, Daniel, you are always a thousand percent welcome to come join us. You don't have to be promoting anything. We will sit and chat with you. It's awesome. We can always yeah, talk I'll... about Kiss. Oh, that's what I wanted to mention. You, you played on a Kiss cruise, yeah? We did a Kiss cruise with Diamonds, yeah. 2015. How, how amazing was that? Just curiosity. Like the coolest, like the coolest shit ever. I cried at least four times. <laughs> Very cool. I had to make right, like bald, kiss. like bald, like just like a little drunk, like dude. I'll never. Okay, so I bald the first time they walked into the room and they're like watching <laughs> us play, and I'm just like dying, just dying, because like I think everyone knew that Kiss was gonna be there, but somehow it went over my head, and they were like, "Oh, watch this. Let's not tell them that Kiss is coming to see us play." Because we're doing Kiss covers the first night. It's like <laughs> a, an event, and we did Take Me and Deuce, and they're like, "Let's not tell DK," and like they fucking walked in, and I was just like. Ah! It's like pretty funny. And then uh, they do an unmasked acoustic set on the boat. And it's basically just the MTV unplugged set. It's like literally the MTV set list. Like they open with coming home, the whole deal. Um, And uh, me and Priya got fucking wasted. And we got tattoos in the middle of the day. I got this God of Thunder tattoo that's there. And uh, we got wasted and we got the tattoos. And then we ran to go see Kiss Acoustic. And they just started playing coming home and the first chorus kicks and again we're like we're balling and we're holding each other and we're like oh, greatest moment of my life like it's just crazy it's fucking sick <laughs> best band ever yeah <laughs> fucking so sick awesome. yeah and like getting hit and dude all they do is play kiss too like when you're in the hallways the pa just like faintly kiss tunes whether it's four in the morning or four in the afternoon it doesn't matter there's like just faintly kiss playing all the time everywhere it's crazy the whole discography that's I need to be on one of those. That's what really you need to do. It. There's only going to be like two more or whatever, apparently. Yeah. So like, yeah, you know, buy the most expensive fucking three day vacation of your life and just do it. It's outlandishly <laughs> priced. I'm warning you in advance. It's stupid. <laughs> that's ever. That's a hundred percent why I have never been on one. Yeah, it's like a like if like it's the it's the price you pay for like a ten day all inclusive Dominican Republic getaway. <laughs> it's Terrible. wild. That's wild. And you get to go away for three days. And guess what? The booze is not included. It's like nine bucks a beer. Yeah. It's, it's a wild. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. But we got to go for free. I think they even paid us. I think there was like a nominal fee. I think they gave us like $500 or something too. It was like a, like a, a like crazy. I mean, you still have to buy your own flights and shit, but yeah, it was crazy. They gave the kiss act kiss actually gave me money once. <laughs> that's gold buddy yeah that's pure gold i didn't know that's, it flowed that direction I just, I they, just, took, they took my fucking life savings on things like kiss pez dispensers but boy did i ever earn it back with that 500 dollars that one time <laughs> yeah there's no kiss records on this shelf that's for sure yeah yeah really earned it all back though that 500 bucks wild <laughs> wild should have kept the check you should yeah should have kept the fucking check. Yeah. <laughs> it's a collector's item. Don't cash it. <laughs> That's the ultimate kiss sickness. They've got you. They write you a check. You don't even want to cash it. Who signed that? Who signed that? Did Doc McGee sign that? <laughs> it's good. I, I, that's the best. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Uh, I think if uh, Randy doesn't have any other questions, I, I don't have anything else other than to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us. Hell yeah, thanks for having me. Absolute pleasure to catch up with you again. Dude, totally. I hope I see you somewhere in the States, see you at a festival, see you at Rock, Oklahoma. Who knows? I'll see you somewhere. Like, hey, if you're ever rolling through, you know, Kansas, Oklahoma, we're always here for you guys as well. 
You're the best. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Thanks, Randy. Thanks, John. Absolutely. Randy, Hell you yeah. want to take us out? Uh, let's see what we can do here. All those Twitch DJ! people out there, thank you for watching. Hell yeah. Bleach Bangs, fuck yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. Have a good one. Ugly friends too. <laughs> that's the greatest outro ever, guys. Yeah, that's awesome. Fuck yeah, that ruled. That was the most fun ever.